Machine is really nice and quick when it comes to laying down your beats, samples and melodies, but I've always found the arranger to be a bit too restrictive for my needs. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't necessarily a huge problem. I view machine as a groove box and groove boxes have these pattern based sequencers that don't even try to compete with DAWs. I first bought my Machine Mark 1 in 2010 to replace my MPC 1000, so I never really expected it to be on the level of a DAW in terms of flexibility and arrangement possibilities. And with the addition of clips, Machine is actually more flexible than most groove boxes and if it fits your needs, you can totally make complete tracks with it. But for me, I have to admit, I've never even used clips. Every time I think about using them, I realize that it would be much faster and easier to just export my tracks to Ableton and do all the arrangement and editing there. And having your tracks already in audio when you're working in your Ableton session kind of nudges you towards doing some cool audio edits. You can easily reverse, stretch and pitch shift your sounds directly on the timeline. So let me show you how I made a sample based beat from scratch on the Machine Mark III, how I exported the tracks and how I imported them to Ableton Live. And you will hear how it ended up sounding after I did all the audio editing in live. Oh and by the way, if you're not already aware of it, we are running a beat battle in our Discord server, the link is down in the video description and you can win a brand new Machine Mark III provided by Native Instruments. All the details are in the server. Join in if you haven't done so yet. See you there. Okay, first the beat making part. So I used Serato sample in this case to find some random chops, use the find samples feature, and then I just went with what Serato suggested me. Then I had to edit this note out of the sample chops because it was out of key actually with the chords that I added and the bass line. By the way guys, if you're enjoying the video and if it is helpful, hit that like button down there, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, and check out my Ableton Live packs and my sample packs from the link down in the description for a great way to support the channel. Back to the video now. So I've shared my method of moving the tracks to Ableton Live in one of my older videos, I will link it down in the video description for a more detailed walkthrough, but there are a couple of ways to do it. You can just drag and drop each pattern from this icon here to live directly 
that would be a bit a bit time consuming because you got a lot of patterns for each scene. Another method would be to just go command E and export, choose source as group, scenes all, and then just export all groups, export different files for each scene for each pattern of each group. And when I did this, I got 43 WAV files to import to Ableton. This isn't really practical at all as well, because it would take more time to import them. So my preferred method is to right click on each scene, append to song, and then just go to the song mode and export what is essentially a draft arrangement. And yes, if you export at the, at the group level, all your drums would be combined in a single file. This isn't really a problem for me in this case, but if you want to have them exported as separate files, you will need to choose sound from here and then choose which drums you want to export. But bear in mind that any processing that you applied at the group level will not affect the exported audio files so they may sound a little different which may make you feel like oh it's not sounding the same as it sounded in machine so i don't know i prefer to just export the whole group and just be done with it so now that i've done this i open an empty ableton live project set my bpm to be the same as my machine project then select all the files that i exported from machine drag them onto ableton and i just hold command so it distributes all the WAV files to separate audio tracks, otherwise it would load all the files onto a single track, which is not really that useful. So I hold command and there we have it. So now everything is loaded correctly, lined up correctly, and you can just move stuff around, duplicate, mute stuff and just build an arrangement really easily. Let's fast forward to the final result. So here's my main sample and as you can see, I've muted some of the chops just by cutting out the waveform on the timeline. And I've also done this for this vocal thing here. So this is the benefit of arranging audio files in your DAW as opposed to the machine arranger. You have the flexibility to cut out stuff, mute stuff. Also in life, it's quite easy to reverse things. Just select it, hit R and it's reversed. Or if the WAV file is warped, you can just hold shift and drag it to time stretch it and make it as long as you want. Super easy, super visual, and this makes the whole process much more intuitive than if you would attempt to do these things in machine, which is possible, but not as intuitive. So I realized that some of the vocal chops in this sample were getting a bit repetitive, so I ended up with this. So that's all for this one, check out this video for a cool drum groove tip for machine and I will see you there.